Hello and welcome to part 7 on how to create animated light ribbons using Blender. In this part we're going to add some random motion to our hooks to get the ribbon moving. We're going to need the graph editor for this, so let's open it now. Now let's select the center hook, which we previously set to be a child of the ribbon object. Next we are going to press I and select Location. This will assign a keyframe to the hook, which will mark the initial starting place when we animate it. Let's do the same thing for the left hook, and again for the right hook. Alright, now let's reselect the center hook and add some movement to it. Expand Location in the Graph Editor to show the X, Y, and Z locations. Click on the X location to select it, and press N to open the Graph Editor's node panel. We are going to work out of the Modifiers tab, so go ahead and select it as well. Let's start the animation so we can see the hooks moving while adding the modifiers. Click on Add Modifier, select Built-in Function, and you'll see the center hook start to wobble side to side along the X axis. This is way too fast, so let's change the amplitude to 1.3, the phase multiplier to 0.02, the phase offset to minus 6.285, and the value offset to minus 0.5. That's better, but it's currently repeating the same pattern of side-to-side -side movement, so let's add a noise modifier to create some variation. Let's set the blend type of our modifier to multiply. The scale to 118.9 and the strength to 3.3. Keep in mind that these values are what I came up with while experimenting. You should feel free to try other values as well. Now we currently only have movement along the x-axis. We need to repeat this process for the Y and Z axes as well. So let's select the Y location next, then Add Modifier, and choose Built-in Function. Set the Amplitude to 0.9, the Phase Multiplier to 0.03, the Phase Offset to minus 0.15, and the Value Offset to 0.7. Then let's add a Noise Modifier, Change the blend type to multiply, set the scale to 106.7, the strength to 7.6, the offset to minus 21.7, and the phase to 2.2. Alright, now we have movement left to right and front to back. All that's left is to add some up and down motion along the Z axis. So select the Z location. Add the built-in modifier, set the amplitude to 1.3, the phase multiplier to 0.02, the phase offset to 0.1, and the value offset to minus 0.2. Then add a noise modifier, select multiply, Set the scale to 76.1 and the strength to 2.5. And now we have some nice random movement along the X, Y, and Z axes. Now we need to repeat this process to get the left hook moving. Make sure the left hook is selected. Expand Location, and select X Location. Then we'll add our built-in function modifier, set the amplitude to 0.1, the phase multiplier to 0.01, the phase offset to 0.915, and set the value offset to minus 21.4. Add the noise modifier, set the blend type to multiply, 
the scale to 80.3, the strength to 0 0.201, the offset to 77.1, and the phase to 16.7. Next, we'll select the Y location. Add the built-in modifier. Set the amplitude to 0 0.330. The phase multiplier to 0 0.02. The phase offset to 9.55. And the value offset to 0 0.4. Then add the noise modifier. Set the scale to 65.8 and the strength to 19.4. And now for the Z location. Add the built in modifier. Set the amplitude to 1.3. The phase multiplier to 0 0.025. The phase offset to minus 1.6, and the value offset to 0 0.5. Then add the noise modifier. Set the scale to 83.2, the strength to 2.5, the offset to minus 0 0.3, and the phase to minus 0 0.9. Now we have random motion on the left hook. All that's remaining is the right hook, so let's do that next. Select the right hook, expand location, and select X location. Add the built in function. Set the amplitude to 0 0.7, the phase multiplier to 0 0.025. The phase offset to 0 0.2 and the value offset to 1.6. Add the noise modifier, select multiply, set the scale to 291.1 and the strength to 3.1. Select the Y location, add the built-in function, set the amplitude to 0 0.95, the phase multiplier to 0 0.03, the phase offset to 9.55, and the value offset to 0 0.8. Add the noise modifier, select multiply, set the scale to 103.8, and the strength to 7.6. And finally, select the Z location. Add the built-in modifier. Set the amplitude to 1.8. The phase multiplier to 0 0.025. The phase offset to 0 0.7 and the value offset to 0 0.1. Add the noise modifier, select multiply, set the scale to 62.2, the strength to 2.5, and the offset to minus 0 0.3. And that's it. We now have random movement for all three hooks. And at this point, we can close the graph editor. Let's reset the animation and see how it looks. The reason the ribbon looks a little deformed starting out is because we modified some of the value offsets, which changes the initial starting position of the hooks. Looks good. 
And that's it for part 7 of this tutorial. If you find these videos helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. In part 8, we're going to clone the ribbon and animate our camera so that the ribbons flow off the screen, which will help add a little more variation to their movement. See you then.